Hello and welcome. I'm JV with the Cyber and U team, and today we're going to go over folder permissions through the NTFS file system on Windows itself. NTFS is generally what you're going to use on your personal computer or even on your servers in order to manage your file structure. Um, let's go over a quick synopsis as to why you would even care about permissions. Let's say you have a folder, but you just want somebody to be able to view it, but you don't really want them to write anything to it or change anything. You can then add them to that folder or file as only being able to view, but not be able to modify that file. That's just one of the instances as to why you would want that. Um, the best practice, if you are a domain administrator, is to have a security group where you add a user into it with the correct permissions. Instead of adding just one user and then another user and then another user to a file or folder, you just add them to that security group and then they already have all the permissions they need that that security group is assigned to. And that only applies to system or domain administrators. If you're just a typical user at home, you don't really need to worry about that. You can just add an individual user to whatever it is you need them to be added to. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this. So we're going to go to the bottom here and open up our file explorer. Click this PC and then the C drive. And we're going to create a new folder by right clicking, hitting new, and then go into folder. And then we're going to call it cyber. And now we're going to right click that folder and hit properties and from there you're gonna see a bunch of tabs at the top here just click on security and then you're gonna see groups or usernames up here you're generally gonna have these four as default um, if you have a domain generally there's also gonna be like an everyone group but in general you're just gonna have these four the creator owner the system itself uh, your administrator and then your everyday user and even by clicking on all these, you can see they have different permissions assigned to them. If you are in control of a domain, you don't really want anybody to have full control. And by full control, that means being able to modify, read and execute, list the folder contents, and take ownership of the files or folders. But as an everyday user, same thing. You don't really want everybody to have full control. You only want yourself to be able to do everything you need it to do. So let's go over what these permissions are, for instance. So full control, pretty self-explanatory. It allows you to read, write, modify, execute, change attributes, permissions, and take ownership of the file. So everything that is below it is what you're in control of. And then the modify, though, is the second option you can see here. It allows you to read, write, modify, execute, and change the file's attributes. And then the read and execute generally will allow you to display the file's data, the attributes, the owner, and permissions, and run the file if it's a program. And then the list folder contents, pretty self-explanatory. You can, um, well, if you don't have the well, I guess there's no view option anymore in server 2016. So this would be your list folder contents. You can open it up, but you can't exactly do anything with it. Um, and then your read option will allow you to open the file, view its attributes, the owner, and the permissions themselves, while write will allow you to write data to the file, append the file, and read and change its attributes. As you can see, there's a bunch of different um, things you can do with this. In a domain, you'll generally give people modify, read and execute, list folder contents, and read and write rights. But full control allows them to do all of this and then some. So there's also the special permissions at the bottom here that you can see. So you can click advanced on here. And this will give you more granular insight into the permissions themselves. So we're going to click on administrators here and click view. And now if you go to the right here, you can see Show Advanced Permissions. You can click on that. So this gives you even more customization options as to what you want them to be able to do. So if you don't like what you're seeing with the
basic options, you can go into this show advanced and then go through these options to um, restrict or give somebody more power. You're just going to have to read it, these through, see what you need for your specific file structure and determine how you want to handle um, the way people view and or use the items within your domain or your personal computer. And with that, that's the basics of the Windows NTFS file permissions. And if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and we look forward to seeing you again.